Take a deep breath. Did you know that with every breath you take, there are about 56 octillion atoms? Yes, that's right. A number with 22 zeros. It's like trying to count all the grains of sand on all the beaches in the world. And guess what? Your body is made up of seven octillion atoms, an even larger number with 27 zeros. Let's broaden our perspective a bit. The Earth, our blue home, is composed of 100 quindecillion atoms, a number that makes octillions seem small with its 50 zeros. Now think, if each atom were a star, how many galaxies could we create? And when we look at the observable universe, which stretches 46 billion light years across, we are talking about up to 100,000 quadrillion vigintillion atoms, a number followed by 82 zeros. That makes us feel quite small, doesn't it? But wait, there's more. What if each atom had its own story to tell? A narrative intertwined with the formation of stars, planets, and even life itself? Here's a mind-blowing fact. Dividing the total volume of the observable universe by the smallest possible unit of volume, the Planck space, we end up with 1 times 10 to the power of 185 tiny cubes. That's right, tiny microscopic cubes everywhere. And believe it or not, this number is still small compared to what humans have already conceived. Think of how many possibilities exist within each of these cubes. Could there be entire universes hidden within them? Now let's talk about a true numerical monstrosity, tree three. Antonio Padilla, a physicist at the University of Nottingham says, everything you think you know is reduced to nothing. In the game of trees, we start with a colored seed that can generate a tree with branches that end in seeds capable of sprouting their own trees. The goal? To create as many trees as possible, following specific rules. First rule, the first tree has one seed, the second at most two seeds, the third at most three seeds, and so on. Second rule, the game ends and the forest dies if you repeat an existing tree. With three colors, tree three stands out. While previous forests died quickly, the three-color forest grew for an incredibly long time. Mathematicians have proven that the game ends at some point, but no one has been able to count the trees needed to get there. Speaking of large numbers, just trying to visualize the number of digits in the solution to tree three would make your mind collapse. Scientists believe that the observable universe would also suffer a similar fate if confronted with all those digits. Imagine trying to fit all those numbers on a piece of paper. The paper would need to be larger than the universe itself. What if the universe is infinite? What if you could travel forever without ever finding an edge? Over the centuries, philosophers and scientists have pondered this question. The Greek philosopher Architas, in the fourth century BC, wondered what would happen if he extended his hand beyond the heavens. In the 16th century, Giordano Bruno concluded that space was infinite. Today, modern science has given us incredible tools to explore the cosmos. We know that light travels at about 186,000 miles per second, and the further we look into space, the further back in time we go. We can see galaxies from 1 billion, 5 billion, and even 10 billion years ago. But at a certain distance, the light simply disappears as if it were magic, but it's pure physics. What defines the limit of our observable universe is not a physical barrier, but rather a matter of time and expansion. The first galaxies are now about 46 billion light years away, and surprisingly, the universe appears flat. Does this mean it extends infinitely? Maybe. But consider the horizon. It seems flat until you look from an airplane and see the curvature of the Earth. The same may be true for the universe. Are we just seeing a tiny part of something much bigger? If the universe is curved, it must be at least 37 trillion light years in diameter. An unimaginably large number, but still just the minimum it could be. It could be much, much larger. It could be infinite. In 1977, a volunteer astronomer picked up a unique radio signal on the Big Ear Radio Telescope. 
called the wow signal. It was a distinct and never repeated spike of radio noise. Could it be a signal from alien life? No one knows for sure, but it's a mystery that fascinates to this day. Are we alone in the universe, or are there other civilizations out there trying to communicate with us? Let's reflect. In an infinite universe, not only is everything possible, but everything is inevitable. There would be infinite configurations of stars, galaxies, and even you and me, living slightly different lives in other corners of the cosmos. You might be watching this video on a different planet with a different atmosphere, but it's still you. What if each version of you had a completely different life? What decisions would you have made in other universes? Physicist Max Tegmark estimates that our clones would be about 10 118 meters away. That's an absurdly large number, but it makes sense in an infinite universe. Imagine how many yous are out there, each living their own version of life. Did any of these versions discover something that would change our understanding of the universe? Cosmology suggests that after 10 more 10 420 billion years, the universe could repeat its initial arrangement and start all over again. Like a great cosmic deja vu, where everything repeats infinitely. Are we stuck in an eternal loop, and everything we've done has already been done before and will be done again? What if the universe is infinite in size and time? How can we calculate the probabilities of anything? In a cosmos where everything is possible and everything happens infinitely, how can we understand the laws of the universe? Predictions become impossible. It would be like trying to count how many times you've lost your keys, infinitely frustrating. Our observable universe may be just an infinitely small fraction of an infinite cosmos. But, like the ancient Greeks, we still face the same existential dilemmas. Confronting the infinite means confronting the very insignificance of our existence. But don't be disheartened. Our universe is just the beginning. There are theories about multiverses, where our universe is just a bubble in an infinite sea of other universes, each with its own physical laws, separated by insurmountable distances. Could there be a universe where the laws of physics are completely different? What would it be like to live in such a place? In the world of mathematics, the Polish Benoit Mandelbrot showed us that nature can be infinitely complex. His fractals, patterns that repeat infinitely on different scales, are found in everything from fern leaves to distant galaxies. Who knew that math could be so poetic? What if each fractal was a door to a parallel universe? Could we travel between these universes? Our universe is expanding. Everything is moving away from everything else, and over time, our observable universe will continue to expand until it becomes infinitely large. But even if we had infinite time, we could only explore a finite part of an infinite universe, as the expansion would always be one step ahead. It's like trying to reach the finish line in a race where the line keeps moving. Going back in time, the universe becomes smaller, denser, and hotter, until everything reduces to an infinitely small, dense, and hot point. Although we can't see beyond that point, our observations suggest that the universe may be infinitely old and infinitely large. What if our universe is just a part of a larger whole, as in the theory of eternal inflation? Our Big Bang could be just one of many, each creating a bubble universe in an infinite multiverse, each bubble with its own physical laws forever separated. Imagine an ocean of bubbles, each containing its own universe. What if we could travel between these bubbles? What wonders would we find? Let's think a little more. What if the universe is constantly renewing itself, the theory of eternal inflation suggests that new regions of space-time are always forming, each with its own unique characteristics. We could be living in an eternal sea of constantly changing universes. Moreover, there is the question of additional dimensions. String theory proposes that our universe may have more than the three spatial dimensions and the temporal dimension that we know. There are hidden dimensions, coiled on such small scales that we cannot perceive them directly. And what about dark energy? This mysterious force is causing the universe to expand at an accelerated rate. 
We still don't fully understand what dark energy is, but we know it makes up about 68% of the universe. Cosmic inflation theory also suggests that the universe went through an extremely rapid expansion right after the Big Bang. This expansion would have smoothed out the initial irregularities, creating the homogeneous universe we observe today. In addition to the great cosmological questions, there are mysteries on smaller scales that also challenge our understanding. For example, black holes, regions of space where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. What happens inside a black hole? Are they portals to other universes or just final destinations for the matter and energy that enter them? And what about neutrinos, those nearly massless particles that pass through all matter almost without interacting? They may hold clues about the most fundamental processes of the universe. Studying neutrinos can help us better understand particle physics and perhaps reveal new aspects of reality. Quantum physics, in turn, shows us a world where uncertainty and probability govern. On very small scales, particles can be in multiple places at once, and events can occur without apparent cause. This strange behavior challenges our intuition and raises questions about the nature of reality. In the concept of the multiverse, the idea that there are many universes beyond our own, each with its own physical laws and initial conditions. Some scientists believe that our universe is just one among infinite others, each being created by quantum events or cosmological processes. The search for knowledge is, in itself, an infinite journey, full of wonders and surprises. And so we conclude our journey through the incredible world of numbers and the universe. From the unimaginable vastness of atoms in a breath to the greatest mathematical and cosmological concepts, we have seen how small we are and, at the same time, part of something much larger. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more fascinating content like this. Leave in the comments what you thought and suggestions for future videos. Your opinion is very important to us. Thank you for watching and see you next time.